Hello, I'm Ted Danglemeyer with Danglemeyer Associates, and this demonstration is on ESD event detectors. Very powerful analytical tool, also a bit complex and sometimes uh, confounding results, but once you understand how to use them, it can be very revealing. Now, there are several different types of event detectors available. You see some behind me on the screen, and some of them are here in front of me. I have five on the work surface here, and you can see they have different shaped antennas, different um, size and form. Some mount in automation equipment. Some are meant to connect to data acquisition systems. So there's a wide variety. But they all work on the same principle. When a discharge occurs, a, an RF transient is radiated. That can be detected, measured. In fact, you can do it with an oscilloscope with the right antenna. What I'm going to do now is to illustrate this with this event detector. This one is turned on, the others are turned off. And I have here a plastic container with some nuts and bolts in it. So you can imagine that when I shake this, we will get triboelectric charging of the metal, and then as they become airborne, they'll be at different potentials, and when they collide, we'll get ESD events. So I'm going to start shaking it over here, and we don't hear the meter. As we get close to the meter, we pick up the events. That's picking up the discharges from these nuts and bolts. And clearly, that is a function of distance and amplitude of the signal. In other words, the stronger the signal, the further away you'll be able to pick it up. To illustrate that, what I have here are our usual paddles. And here's our metal disc. What I'm going to do is charge it and discharge it to this metal plate and you see we get the tone from the event detector. I'll do it again. We charge the plate, we get the event. This is such a strong signal that I'll be able to walk to the other side of the room, some 20 feet away, and make the same uh, reaction to the event detector. Now, I'm gonna leave the event detector here and walk to the other side of the room. Okay, here I am in the new location, and we're gonna repeat that same procedure. What I'm going to do is rub and charge the disc and touch it to this metal uh, plaque. And you could hear the event detector on the other side of the room. In fact, you uh, were watching it the whole time. So there's no trickery here. It really is a very powerful tool. That, and this is the good news. It'll pick up everything in proximity. It's also the bad news because it picks up everything, meaning that you get stray signals that you have to be able to separate from real threatening events to your product. And that's where it gets confusing. Okay, let's go back and tell you a little more. The way this can be used, there are many applications for event detectors. Again, it's a, I, I'm very enthusiastic about these event detectors. They're, they're so powerful and revealing. But let's go to a slide here to show you what it looks like at a workstation. You maybe have a manual operation that you want to evaluate with event detectors. You can set it on the workbench, as you see here. You can also do this for very complex and highly automated um, equipment, such as you see here. You can bring the event detector near the automation equipment, and in doing that, you again, it gets more complex, the more complex the item you're analyzing. But with experience and the right event detector, you can pin down uh, the source of events, even in this kind of a situation, and ultimately get to resolving it. Again, very powerful analytical tool, but it's equally uh, confusing and sometimes confounding to use. That's the end of this demonstration, and thank you.